today's video game topic, we will be talking about PlayStation 4.5 and what is upresing. Now, PlayStation, uh, Sony has announced that PlayStation 4.5 will be coming out later this year. I believe September. Am I correct on that, Brendan? Uh, Oct- I thought it was October. Maybe October. Um, and what 4.5 is, is it's going to be able to put out 4K quality picture. Uh, right now, all the systems we have, the Xbox Ones, the Wii U, I believe, is 1080p as well, and the PlayStation 4 all just put out signals in 1080p. Now, if you don't know what all the 1080s, the 720s, the whatever, 480s are, the, uh, that's pretty much resolution on your screen. The bigger the screen, the more resolution you need, so it doesn't become pixelated and boxy. So this is a way of making it clear for bigger screens and also super pinpoint clear for smaller screens. Mm-hmm. Now, Sony has said that this 4.5 will be putting out 4k resolution now that is the big thing on the market right now it is super super clear when you get an 80 inch screen it doesn't distort it when you get a 32 inch screen no worries there you're perfect but sony also said that it won't be true 4k it'll be an up 4k so yep. we're going to turn to brendan and brendan explain to us what up means up is where we, um some kind of hardware or software takes an image and increases its resolution using a variety of filter methods, but it adds pixels to the image. So in this case, it's going to have to quadruple the number of pixels from a 1080p image, for instance, or 1080 image to make it to a 4k image. Um, and then it does some, some filtering, like it, it'll smooth out the edges uh, in various ways and kind of intelligently decide how the image should be um, shown. So it's not going to really be, in most cases, quite as good as a native um, resolution. However, sometimes it can be done well and people can't tell the difference. One of the other benefits that this really plays is if, for instance, you have a 4K TV that you're showing it on, which there's no point in showing it on anything else, um, yeah, you're, well, if you're showing it on a 1080p TV, you're kind of missing the mark. But yeah, yeah. go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> you you really can't. Um, yeah. But what's going to happen is your TV is going to upres, uh, it's going to scale the image up so that it can show it at all, uh, in its 4K resolution if it's set to that. And TVs are notoriously bad for this. They have a lot of lag for that, which if you're watching a movie, it's not so bad. Um, But if you're playing a game, that lag can be a problem, especially if you're playing a competitive game where time is is of the essence. Um, I know that from a couple angry games of Destiny. Yeah. Lag is no fun. Exactly. You you might just miss a frame or two uh, of time or you might, you know, a few milliseconds, but it can be a big deal, especially in competitive games. And and a lot of this stuff, just to let you all know, is not stuff that the human eye can necessarily always pick up. Yeah. I don't know that the human eye can really differentiate between 720 and 1080 on a 32-inch screen. Now, if you were to blow that up to a 55-inch screen, yes, you probably could tell very easily which picture is which. But most of these, for most people's TVs, you can't really quite tell the difference. This is true, and it's going to depend, too, on the distance you are from the TV the, mm-hmm. the size of the TV, the distance you are from the TV, other quality factors can play into. Um, you know, 4K makes more sense right now in the PC market. It's not even really that necessary in the PC market. It makes more sense, though, in the PC market because you are so much closer mm-hmm. to your monitor. Yeah. And those monitors are very high quality um, that do 4K. So because you're so close, you might actually see it. Your TV, when you're playing on a console, you're typically at least several feet away. If yeah, not, I mean, you have um, to be. I mean, depends on. I guess depends on what you're playing. But if I'm playing a game of uh, Call of Duty or something like that, if I'm too close to the TV, you know, you're kind of tunnel vision. It's better to be a little bit farther away. Yeah, uh, you know, there there are ideal size. Um, distances from certain size TVs too and, and like Brian said over, really 4K is designed for you know 
55 inch and up, 60 inch and up. Um, some people would say that 8K is really designed for that range too, but we don't have that. And it's still 4K is. Yeah. is 8K is a little bit in the future. So yeah. for most, yeah. yeah. I mean, 8K exists already, but it no one cares. But so in, no in your opinion, four, you barely sell it making 4K a PlayStation right. 4, making that they have the ability to up res to 4K is that worth it? Is that going out? Is that worth going out and buying a system? Now, granted, we already explained, maybe if you have a 55 inch TV or bigger, yes, it might be worth it. Maybe but... if you simply have a 4K TV already. Yeah, no, not true. Just, just for, like I said, the, the one factor that I would say this does make sense for, the only thing that this really makes much sense for is to improve, to reduce the latency. Because hardware based, uh, like, on the console side, hardware-based um, uprising that's of good quality can make a bit of difference as opposed to letting your TV do it because TVs typically don't invest a lot into doing that upscaling very well with low latency. Well, yeah, and like I have an older version, well, not mine, but I, there's a TV in my home that's an older flat screen, one of the older HD TVs, probably you know, 10, 10 years old. And it does that itself. It upreses things, pictures every now and then. And every now and then you switch the channel and it wants to set the resolution to something different and it gets really big and then shrinks down to where it should be or, or something like that. But yeah, it, the latency can get annoying, especially if you're playing a game and you're moving from one environment to another and that change could really screw things up. Yeah. And I see this um, in the the retro game community. Sometimes people will buy boxes or like uh free meisters and other um devices that mm -hmm. do the upscaling in a better fashion than tv will even if they can put it into their tv like an old system that doesn't even do that does like 480 or lower um the tv is going to do that that upscaling on its side and it does it poorly it doesn't look as good it doesn't look as smooth and it has it introduces a bunch of latency some people, for some people, that matters. And if you're doing things competitively, I can see that that mattering more than for other people, um, especially if you're playing a game like like an FPS, a, a yeah. fast FPS, or an RTS, or, or a racing game. I could even see it mm, eh, not fighting yeah. games that much, but so for but, a select uh, market, yeah, this makes sense game. to have something that can do this well on the console. And let's not forget to let's not gloss but, over probably the coolest thing that Sony's doing with this. Is they're releasing this at the three ninety nine price point, which PlayStation Four is at currently, yes. and they're dropping the original PlayStation Four down to two ninety nine. So it's not like they're like, "Hey guys, here's a lot of really cool new technology. Now pay us another six hundred dollars." They're like, "Okay, if you didn't jump on board, might as well get this. If you did already jump on board, we're not going to kill you to get it." So, yeah, I appreciate that. So my real question for it though is to what extent we're going to see this utilized with the 4.5 we already have questions of if they're going to make games that require it because of other beyond the not. 4k if they really games. if they do phase out the old playstation 4 it's like you just screwed us you made a playstation 5 and just screwed everybody yeah. um but also are we going to start seeing well i guess we're not i guess the fact that they're up resing shows us that and they said they were uprising all previous games, whatever. Um, shows us that at least they're probably not going to do a route like they've been doing with games, um, ports of games between generations and giving us a, you know, a, a, a UHD remake yeah. of a game well, that's Final already Fantasy on PlayStation X, 4. Final Fantasy X HD for PlayStation 3. Then the next year, Final Fantasy X HD for PlayStation 4. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, and if they make it a, play, you know, a Final Fantasy X UHD for, for yeah. PlayStation 4, 5, 5, that, it doesn't even make sense because it's it's only really doing 1080p anyway and just up yeah. on the console side. It's not... It's not and, and so that people know, it's not doing real 4K because that would be insane that would be like five playstations stuck together yeah it would be very difficult five. to do at not easy. most at any kind of reasonable price point in a system 
the size of the PlayStation 4. Yeah, you'd it would be have paying to PlayStation eight, 4 a lot 800 to thousand dollars to get something like yeah. that. It would have to I be mean, more look, expensive. Go, go out and, and have to be a lot go out bigger. and look at the Blu-ray 4K players out there. Yeah, those are incredibly expensive. Uh, yeah. So that you can just compare that uh, to what PlayStation is doing. So it sounds like Sony's actually doing us a solid, giving you an option to get something that's yeah it's not quite as good but it gets you pretty darn close to it and if you already have a 4k tv you don't have a playstation 4 and you're in the market for a playstation 4 this is the way to go i mean hands down you go ahead and get it yeah it's not going to be true 4k but it's going to get us close enough that you probably won't notice that big of a difference mm -hmm. and like i said it'll it'll get rid of that latency for your tv if, if nothing else if you're a competitive gamer that's nice um because maybe you didn't even care about the resolution change at all maybe it's just that you want to get rid of that latency so that then things play go. smoothly on your mm -hmm. on your 4k tv now or smoother than they they would otherwise and that's a real concern um yeah but yeah i mean honestly all in all it just sounds like playstation's doing something maybe it'll get them more sales they don't really need any more they're killing xbox but <laughs> you know maybe this will just boost them up a little bit more and and honestly don't be surprised if in the next six months we hear about an Xbox One 4K up-resing system. It's they probably out there plans. somewhere. They already have plans oh, do they? For, a modular, for a modular Xbox One, one that you can swap in parts. They haven't said much about it that I've I've heard, but we actually somehow did, you're supposed to upgrade parts. It. So, yeah, I, I think we talked about that a couple yeah. months ago. But, but yeah. that's around the corner, too. And, the, and I think maybe the reason that PlayStation is pushing it out now one um, they're using a new processor from AMD that they already have they already have AMD processors in they're using a new one that's been delayed until this year maybe that's part of it part of it might be because the NX is coming out part of it might be just because the Xbox One nobody's, says they're going to do something nobody's else. scared of the NX <laughs> nobody's scared you of the should be scared of the NX nobody's scared of the NX if it's anything like the Wii U its life cycle will be three years and dead. Yeah, but if it's anything like the Wii, then... Then it'll be one year of relevancy and then four more years of no relevancy and dead. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan's more of a Nintendo fan than I am. But hit us up. Let us know what you think. Are you going to go out and get a 4.5 or eh, you just don't really need it? What do you think about it? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words to My Face on Twitter. Google Plus Facebook. Always a good way.